he can shut out C.K. Moore if he takes it off the sheet. Really coming alive here. It's really stroking it, Bo. You're right, Chris. And he was so disciplined with that shot. We had that little box of Parker Bone, how he kept his head so steady and no, no vertical movement. Dennis Horan did that on that shot. The tendency under pressure is to pull up. Horan stayed down and threw his best shot of the match. Cite, he contemplates. Will I have a chance? Seven pin. And C.K. Moore will have a chance. Right now, it's imperative that Dennis Horan make this spare. If he makes this spare, he forces C.K., who's looking at the scoreboard, to strike twice. If he misses this spare, C.K. would only need strike and a nine count for a tie. That single pin could be the difference. He's got it. A 2-0-4. There's no gray area here in the 10th frame. C.K. Moore must strike on the next two balls to win. Anything less, he loses. Pressure. Dennis Horan knows who the winner is. He jumps straight out of his sheet. Well, a six pin. No, so CK will cover it. And we'll be back. When people has won a championship on our telecast last week, Mike Albee. This week, Dennis Aran shooting a 204 to exciting CK Moore's. 193. Ken West, the tournament chairman, is next to Dennis, and he has the check, and uh, the trophy is held by Red Burnham, who is the general manager here at Bradley Bowl. Next week, of course, we'll be out uh, in the Midwest, Toledo, for another edition of the PBA National Championship. The finals will be arena bowling. The arena being Savage Hall at the University of Toledo. Two weeks from today, we'll be in Detroit for another arena event. And what a beautiful trophy that Dennis and his wife, Terry, and their new baby can enjoy, along with a check of 19,000. Dennis Aran defeating C.K. Moore, 204 to 193 here on a beautiful day in the Connecticut River Valley. See you next week. For Bo Burton, I'm Chris Shankle. Join us next week.